10.02. So we're going to get started. Welcome, welcome. If you're getting coffee and pastries, that's fine. You're fine. Hello, everybody. This is Indy's Senior Living Series, the last one of 2023. So this is going to wrap up year seven, lucky number seven. So, and uh, we decided to do technology this year. And it looks like a popular topic because the room is nearly full, which we love to see. Uh, my name is Lisa Treadwell and Sarah McCord is here. We're your co-host. Uh, we're with Indie uh, Real Estate Experts. We're realtors that specialize in helping seniors downsize. And we host this event every single month. Um, it's always on the second Thursday. And somebody pointed out that I made a mistake in the uh, when you go online to RSVP on the form, it said December 12th. So I hope not too many of you guys got confused. I mean, you, you made it here. So, um, so it's always the second Thursday, always from 10 to 1130. Um, we like to keep it that way for consistency purposes. You can just pop it in your calendar and put it on repeat for 12 times a year. So, um, you probably noticed that, um, in the newsletter, we made an announcement that we're moving, um, uh, to, we're moving to a larger room so that we have room for growth. Um, our sponsors, we have room for more sponsors because they're crammed over here on the side. Um, and, and so we're going to be moving. I, you guys did a great job moving when we moved from St. Luke's to get here. So I know you can do it in January. <laughs> um, after the construction center will actually be a really good, um, an easy spot to get to, but it's, it's East 82nd and bash. If you're familiar with that area, Wheaton worldwide movers is going to partner with us, um, as in kind sponsors. So they're giving us the room for free. It's a larger room. Um, and it, we'll just have more space to spread out and, and it, it's easy access. It's a straight road off of, if you guys know where the speedway is off of East 82nd, right before it's just West of when you get on 465, I see a couple of heads nodding, <laughs> um, we, we've got maps in front. Sarah printed out maps for you. Um, so if you're coming from like Carmel or, or around this area, you're going to go east. You could take 465 east. Can you get off on the exit there yet? Yeah, you will. I don't know if you can get on the exit off of the exit. It might be best just to go 86th Street East until it turns into 82nd Street. And then when you get to the speedway there, uh, right before you get to the speedway, there's a road and that's where you'll turn. You go straight back. It's on the right hand side and it's marked on the calendar on the maps there. So um, for those of you online, you are, your mics and cameras are turned off. You are welcome to turn them on so we can see your smiling faces. Um, it will just leave your mics muted in case you um, are talking, but if you have questions, feel free to just pop on there or type them in the comments box and we'll monitor that and answer those for you. We're streaming on YouTube and Facebook, I think, I hope. <laughs> if you're here and your sponsor, go ahead and get on to uh, the Facebook live stream. Uh, it's at Downsizing Indie uh, and or YouTube. Um, it's at Indie Real Estate Experts. And you guys can pop your contact information in there uh, for those people who might be watching online or watch later because we get a lot of views um, after the event. So um, pop your contact information in there. If you're on your phone, it's star six to ask questions. Um, I told you about the upcoming events, register at downsizingindy.com, um, or you can always call and leave a message. If you call that number and you leave a message, you can't hear me. Okay. Uh, is that better? Okay. If you call that number and leave a message, all it is, is a Google voice mailbox. And I do get it. I check it the night before and then put your name and number on the, uh, RSVP list. Um, and then if you have questions, uh, I do try to get back to you before the event, answer your questions. Uh, okay. So January 11th at the new location, we're going to be talking about aging with zest. And uh, maybe that'll go away on my phone. Hopefully that's not showing up on the screen. I'm getting a phone call. We're ignoring that. Uh, aging with zest. So uh, 
I'm going to tell you uh, my little secret about getting some fun titles. Uh, yes, I see some of you changing on that rat card here. If you got this, it has the old address on it, but the, uh, the dates are all right and the topics are all right. Just mark out the address and put the new address. I see some of you guys doing that. Um, aging with zest. I'm going to tell you my secret about getting um, fun, fun uh, topics, titles um, later on in the the uh, later on in the show. Um, <laughs> okay, so sponsors. I already asked you guys. Yeah, plug your stuff into the comments boxes online on Zoom too, because uh, they're on Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook. So pop your stuff into there. We'll watch it for questions. You guys in the room know where the restrooms are. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Sorry, I don't mean to embarrass you. Just grab a coffee and a pastry. <laughs> she said, yeah, you do. <laughs> We're very relaxed here. It's a very forgiving audience. Thank goodness. Um, okay, so, oh, if you're online and you do want the handouts, we have the Google Drive Um did you see I made a tiny URL for that? It's just tiny URL, tinyurl.com slash event handouts. So it's not like a big, oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So for handouts online, we have a Google Drive. For you all too, if you want to revisit these or, or share them with somebody, there's a Google Drive. Yeah, the class is technology. <laughs> so this website will take you to... Um, an electronic version of these handouts. So you can jot that down if you'd like. Okay. Well, I think we used up all the <clears throat> all the coffee. All right. So we have a couple of guests here, and then we have lots of handouts, handouts for you too. Um, so. All, a lot of you, every month we've been giving away the, um, that big basket from, and I always say Stacy Bunez from Clear Captions. She makes these baskets every month. Well, the, the infamous Stacy is actually here in person <laughs> and her, she's going to be talking about her uh, phones. So I'm going to let her take it away. After that, we've got the library, and then we're going to go over those uh, documents that are stapled together that you've got in front of you, or if you're online, they're on the Google Drive. So do you want to stand over there, or do you want to come up here and be on the camera? Okay, you can wander. There you go. Hi, everybody. So yes, I'm Stacy with Clear Captions. Um, I do have an art degree, okay, come over here. so that's my art outlet. So, oh, I need to be on camera. Okay. So, um, so we're talking about technology today. Um, how many are you, of you are over 40? Come on. Yeah. So according to the national Institute of health, you all live with some degree of hearing loss. Let me emphasize, I'm not saying you need to go get a hearing aid, although having your hearing tested every couple of years is super important. And remember, it's free. OK, you can go to Costco, Sam's Club, Miracle Ear, Beltone, you can get a free hearing screening and then, you know. Um, but what we do with technology is help people who have hearing loss have a better telephone conversation. Now, how many of you have never used a telephone? No. Okay, good. That over there is a caption telephone. That's my caption telephone. And not just because I work for the company. Um, 48 million Americans live with hearing loss every day. And I am one of those Americans and I do wear hearing aids. And nobody ever told me that I was eligible for a caption telephone until I came to work for the company. And what it is, it's a phone that's much louder but for me, more importantly, the words that the other person is saying will come across the screen. So if I don't understand what you said to me, I can look down and read it. Now, does anybody here have a caption telephone? No. Okay. Oh, you do. Good. Okay. And so please don't answer this question. How much does a caption telephone cost you? How much? Nothing. That's right. Right. Why? 
Do you know why? You're not quite sure? Okay. So on your home phone, cell phone, cable TV, internet bills, under taxes and fees, it says something like Federal Universal Service Fund or USFB or FCC charge or something like that. That's what pays for this. Does anybody know what year you started paying for those services? Anybody? No? Okay. How many of you have heard of the Americans with Disabilities Act? Yeah. 1990, that was passed into law. And that's what gives us these phones is you're already paying for it. So there's no additional cost to you to get one. Um, later, if you want, you're welcome to go over to my phone and make phone calls so you can see what it's like. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm able to do that on camera, but um, I'm sure some of you have seen our television commercial. Uh, grandson's telling grandma about how he had a ball game. Okay. It's a national commercial. I see some heads shaking. They've seen right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't call that number on the screen. Call me instead. Number one, if they sent myself or my assistant will come to your house and set up the telephone. So you get much more personalized service plus my phone number and the cell phone sitting right behind the phone is what's going to go into your phone. So you'll have two avenues if you have problems. Me and I live here. So does my assistant. And then you'll also have customer support. So we like to take care of you. Um, and I know that this is a technology conversation. If you have hearing loss and you have a cell phone, would you like to get captions on your cell phone? Anybody? Anybody? <gasps> yeah, right? So if you have an Android device, there is a company called InnoCaption, and you can go into your app store. If you have Apple, you can do the same thing. We have an Apple app, but I recommend InnoCaption. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> How do you so, spell that? It's I-N-N-O-C-A-P-T-I-O-N. It's in App Store or Google Play, Play Store. Play Store. Okay. It's in any one of those. It is a free download. You set it up. They're going to ask you for some information when you do that. And then they'll get you a phone number to go with the app. So it does have its own phone number. Yes. I-N-N-O-C-A-P-T-I-O-N. Yep. It's a free service for you because you have hearing loss. Okay. So um, does anybody... Yes, ma'am. Yes, you have to have hearing loss. But you just said if you're over 40, you have some sort of hearing loss, right, right. Stacey? I did. So I did. does I, that mean everybody in the room has hearing loss? Do we um, have to prove it? Can I prove it? No, but I can. Uh, that is a statistic put out by the National Institute of Health. But do we have to prove it in order you to have to prove it? No. Um, part of the setup of either inno caption or clear caption is self certification. So when we set up the telephone, and you'll see this on the inno caption app as well, it's a part. And basically, what it's saying is, I am self certifying that I have hearing loss that necessitates the use of captions. And you press accept. It's written by lawyers, so it's a lot more wordy, no offense, but that's lawyers. the basic. <laughs> that's the basic. So self-certification, we do try to collect a doctor's name. If you have had your hearing tested, we'll use the hearing instrument specialist. But if you haven't, you have a family doctor. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, we are national? a national company and this is a federal program. Okay. So, but wherever your father lives, please come talk to me. I am hanging around today. <laughs> please come talk to me. And if we don't have a rep where he lives, I will get somebody out to his house to install the telephone. Yes, sir. That's a great question. Do you need home phone wire? No. Um, 
my phone's plugged into electricity and only connected to my iPhone. So we have two different Wait, programs. Wait, so is it like call forwarding or something? It's not. Okay. It's just I'm using the hotspot on my cell phone. When I go home and I plug it back in in my office, it flips to my home network. You do have to have home internet service. It does not, we won't plug it in for you when you only have your cell phone as a hotspot. Okay. So we have two programs. The phone is the same. If you have internet and a home or landline telephone, we'll come in, we'll connect it to your landline. So it has the same phone number as all the other phones in your house. Because who wants a different phone number? You've had your phone number for 30 years plus. But a lot of people have gotten rid of the landline. So we have a service that connects to the internet and we become your telephone company. There is a one-time setup fee for voice over internet telephones of $19.99. And then after that, it's free. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's a great question. It doesn't have. Will it, you repeat it for the yes, online audience? Yes. So the question is, how well does the phone work for people who English is a second language? I'm going to say it this way. If you have a person on the other end who has a heavy accent, be it a technician in India or the Philippines or my friend from Alabama or Texas. Wow. Okay. That was very inclusive of you, Stacey. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, because my friend from Alabama, I love him dearly, but he talks fast and he has a heavy twang. That's fine. I can't understand a word he says. <laughs> and, I, and I'm on the caption telephone with him and it doesn't come out correct. So to answer your question, captions are only as good as the other person is speaking. Now, if you notice, I talk a little slower because hearing and comprehension is not just about volume. I would much rather you talk in your normal voice and slow down a little bit. So if you're on a caption telephone and it's somebody who's talking fast, the captions are going to get interesting. Oh, <laughs> okay. And they're not, they will 100% not be correct. And we are required by law to caption exactly what the person says. Therefore, if you have a two-year-old grandson who says truck <laughs> and that high-pitched voice, that may not be the caption that comes on the phone <laughs> because we are required to caption what people say. I have had complaints about that in the past. I will apologize up front, but if somebody says those words, we have to caption them. Okay. What other question? Funny. Cause I know you guys have so much other technology to learn about too. Um, so, um, thank you all so much. So they can have come questions. over and yeah. sort of mess around with the phone. Yeah. You are welcome to play with it and make phone calls on it. No problem. I had a question yeah. tag, tagging off of uh, the ESL. Uh, does it does it translate like if somebody if two people were speaking in Spanish, can yeah. you change the language on it? So Not it's all at English. This time. OK, it is English only. Um, so there they are working on that. The problem with Spanish language is if somebody says C. Uh huh. The phone can't understand the difference between the Spanish and the English word. It's software. Let me preface this by saying we don't use humans as captioning agents anymore. We use AI. We use AI. Which we're going to talk about. Right. Um, we just say it's software as a service. Um, but nobody's listening to your calls. You can feel safe using our caption telephone. We are the only company fully employing software to translate your calls. There's a 2% human component, but that's for making sure the software works. Okay. okay. I yep. think there were a couple of questions yes, over here. I saw some. Oh, you hold on one second. You did <laughs> Sorry. the same options available on cell phones? Yeah, you can use InnoCaption. And that's, we'd have to load that app in and 
Yeah, and right. While you're talking on your phone, if you're using the speaker phone, you can watch it while it's talk. Yeah. So I have Thanks. Bluetooth hearing aids. If I I don't like talking on that because I feel like an idiot walking around Walmart having a conversation to myself, according to everybody watching me. But I can look down and read the caption to the call in my ears. So, yes, um, you had a question. Is that our in? Uh, oh. We have a mic runner, yeah, aka mom. <laughs> I, I was thinking while you were talking about folks who are in assisted living, yes, uh, and wanting this service, and how if you're able to go about. Mm -hmm. Uh, that doing that for them in a, a facility like that yeah. where they because they may not have their own laptop for example you talked right. about internet accessibility sure so most assisted livings at this point they all have internet for their residents the only issue comes if they use a guest net that has a landing page so if you walk into your loved one's facility and connect to the internet on your phone and you have to press an accept button to use the internet, our phone is not capable of that. If I have noticed that that is the situation, I'm happy to reach out to their IT department to get the telephone whitelisted. I've done it before. So it's not really a problem. I just need to know that up front. Okay. So if they're in a community you can still service, you can put a phone in there. Generally front. speaking, yes. Okay. Yes. As an individual, <laughs> how do I request your service? Come and talk to me. I'll get you taken care of. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Got, we got him a cell phone. And um, how does that work? Does he now have two phones? At his thing and it, you would use his cell phone connection so you don't have to do the landing page there so well no okay have, so he it's lives a VA in a nursing home so they okay. have a secure you have you can't get on the internet without going through their he could use people. either right he could use, so his, he would cell use phone, his cell phone the app, app, or and i'm just could, wondering if that's going to be overwhelming for him like this it's going to be something. overwhelming yeah. for him okay um, that's an easy answer <laughs> yeah in a va facility i've worked with va facilities before they usually have a separate network for things like caption telephones, or it's usually called a guest net. And again, if you tell me where they live, I will call and talk to them and see what I can do to get your father the phone. I, this is what I do. I, um, Lisa and I have been working together since the first day. So she knows me very, very well. I've been doing this a long time. I just started my ninth year with the company. This is the best job I've ever had. So I make try to make sure that we get people taken care of. It's important. So talk to me afterwards and I will see what we can do to get your data phone. Thing, uh, my mom had hearing problems with an ear infection recently and I looked on the internet for, they were like, oh, this is old fashioned phone and it'll light up the red button, you know, and she'll be able to know when the phone is ringing. And then the reviews were like, they should have said that red button was decorative. So be careful when like, oh, wow. if you're looking for, you know, something that lights up to help yeah, be, you know, hearing recognition. So <laughs> this is fascinating what you're saying. We're talking about information and technology and the internet because that is always part of the equation. If you have questions about any kind of service, yes, Googling it is very cool. But remember, they're out there to get you. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sorry to say that I work for a reputable company. InnoCaptions is an amazing company. I've read a ton about it. I have a ton of customers using it. That's why I'm recommending it. I did my homework. Please be careful. Like this nice lady said, there are scams out there for phones and they'll charge you $75. A caption phone is free. Okay. The only reason we charge a setup fee for the voice over internet is because we're, we're buying a telephone number to give to you. Okay. Be careful out there. If you don't know who's calling you, please do not answer the telephone. Screen your calls like a professional because they are offshore and they want your money. If you don't know who it is, do not answer the phone. Don't pick it up and hang it back up. They just know that you're there and they sold your phone number to 18 other companies and you've now quadrupled the amount of robocalls you're getting. Please, please be safe out there. 
Okay. Remember the IRS doesn't call you. The social security administration does not need your social security number. Hang up. Don't ever give that out. Yeah. We talked about that in our scams, uh, event, uh, this month, they will send you mail because they need it to be documented that Correct. it was sent and they'll make you, and if it's really important, they'll have you sign for it. Correct. So. Correct. Don't the IRS, if you actually owe money to them, they are required by law will find to you. send you a registered letter that you have to sign for. Same thing. Any government, actual government agency will have to send you a registered letter. letter. That's the law. Okay. Okay. Any more questions for Stacey? She's just going to be here uh, for the entirety of the event. So we, you guys can go over there and please play with her phone and yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all so much. Okay. All right. Yeah. We can give her a round of applause. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the library here. We've got some gals, John and Karen. Don and Karen. Yes. I was like, Karen, is that right? Um, and they're going, I'm sorry, I, I think I gave them your <laughs> Stacy, but you're over there. So um yeah, so you ladies can come up here. I've got a microphone for each of you. And so you're just gonna pretend like this is another audience okay. member. Um then oh yeah Stacy you want to sit uh so if you come up here so the light from that isn't on your head that would be great just like scoot up yeah there you go okay. well they'll tell you yeah very nice okay well first I want to say thank you for having us yes, absolutely um, this was definitely a work in progress to get here so I appreciate you all being patient with us um so my name is Karen I am the supervisor of digital inclusion for the Indianapolis Public Library. Um, this is Dawn who works with me. We are a part of the tech learning team. Uh, primarily we work out of Central Library all the way downtown, but we travel to all the branches throughout our system in Marion County. So I'm gonna let Dawn talk about a little bit about some of the programs and initiatives we have, and I'm here for questions. Okay. All right. Step it up and start moving they are on the table over there so please feel free sorry please feel free to grab some of the flyers once you start moving around um the first thing that i want to highlight is we um, offer something called north star digital literacy it is a free website it's a place that you can go on and you can practice all kinds of things on the internet there are various modules for things like how to use your computer and your mouse. Um, they have things for scheduling telehealth appointments, how to use Microsoft Word or Google Docs and things like that. You don't have to have a library card to access them. The website is digitalliteracyassessment.org. You just use an email address. Can you slow down? <laughs> even I talk really fast and even I was like, wait, 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 what's that? What's that oh, website? No. It's, it's, it's on, uh, it's on the flyer. Uh, it's on the, the green flyer. We'll put it's, it in the digital, chat as well. Yeah, it's digital, digital literacy assessment.org. And you, you have to have an email address and you, um, you'll create a password for it. Um, but you can access that from anywhere. So you don't have to go to the library to get it. If you go home on your computer right now, go to the website, create the account, make the password. You can start practicing computer things immediately. Um, yeah. It's a great foundation, fundamental skill level. So if you haven't really interacted with the computer as much and you want to, or you want to learn a new skill, uh, we teach everyone, we teach more on the adult side, but we teach everything from how to use a mouse and keyboard to avoiding online scams, um, online safety and privacy. Uh, we do digital creativity too. So if you want to put together a website, we kind of have a full range. Uh, we also partner with AARP and we have a Senior Tech Planet series and lecture series that we offer throughout the library system. Um, but Northstar is a great fundamental foundation. Uh, when you need to have conversations, you have that vocabulary to be able to discuss what issues you might be having uh, to empower yourself and also to just expand your overall skills, you know, use it or lose it type of thing. Um, also at the library, if you do have a library card and you want to explore other options, we do offer a lot of e-streaming. So I see everyone has their cell phones. Uh, we do a lot of troubleshooting with that at the library. Uh, if you have a smart TV, we have an option like a free Netflix um, called Canopy, which is really great. 
And that is listed on our flyer as well, uh, where you can check out with your library card. 10 um, Canopy does 30 tickets per month. So you get 72 hours of streaming movies documented all for free. Uh, oh, so card. that's Canopy. Yes. So you can stream. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. So they do okay. cinema, world cinema, any films, um, documentaries, usually some good award winning. It's not just, you know, B, C, D level. <laughs> um of course, your audiobooks. Uh, so if you wanted to read it to you, if you want to stream it on your device, you can do that as well. All accessible with your library card. A lot of people have been using Canopy. You can even download it on a smart TV. Um, you can download Hoopla as well. So Canopy is for a lot of like indie films and documentaries. Mm -hmm. Hoopla has more Movies, feature films. Um, music, books, mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Um, I know we talked about internet in the last segment here. I want to also let you know that the library does lend out hotspots. I know it, it would be considered one more thing to carry, but it's portable uh, internet access on the go, no matter where you are. And that is able to check out just like you would a book at the library. So you get it for three weeks. Uh, you could also have access to a Chromebook. So if a uh there's not a digital access for having a laptop or home and making it accessible. You can check one out at a branch with your library card. Yep. And we can talk about LinkedIn learning. So we, through your library card, we also something, again, there's a flyer. Um, we offer LinkedIn learning. They have a lot of professional development kinds of courses on there, but also lifestyle things like time management or, I don't know, creativity. So that's another free service that's offered through the public library with your library card. Yeah, that one you do need a library card for, but it just opens the door to possibilities. So we're a firm believer in lifelong learning um, and continuing that. And our team is a big access point for you and you can utilize that as a resource. I did go ahead and drop in the chat and we will have it on the table for you here in person if you have any questions. Does everybody have a library card? I mean, I should have started with that. Okay, so great. <laughs> um, if you are, do you all live in Marin County? Right. Some live in Marion, some live in Hamilton, right? Okay. I would say. Any are there any other counties represented in the room? Are there okay. is there Hendrix? Oh, great. Okay. okay. So I would definitely look into your public library and what they have to offer. However, if you feel that the Marion County Public Library system would be beneficial, we do offer a plat card. So long as you have a library card in your home branch in your county, you can pay a price to get a plat card and get access to any library in Marion County. It's called a plat card. P P L A C is the acronym. P L A C. Okay, plat. plat card. So if you're in another county and you want access to the Central Library or Marion County Library, just, just call or they could even online. I got my library card just online completely. I didn't even have to go into yes. the library. You can uh, fill out a form called Ask a Librarian, I think, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And just ask for that P L A C card. Yeah, if you're that's actually how yeah. we met. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> asked the yeah. librarian and I then did. she got me. So yeah. it's a great resource. And um, I definitely recommend if you have any class topics or anything you might want to see program wise at the library, we offer a little bit of everything. So you mentioned um, digital creativity. Those include classes on Canva. Have you guys heard of Canva.com or um, they also offer classes with Cricut machine. Does anybody like Cricut, the Cricut machine? People use it to make Sarah uh, does. Presents. Yeah, yeah. So they, they offer classes where they make fun, festive things mm -hmm. with those machines. Absolutely. And there's also the digital creativity workstation at the Central Library where if you're working on some sort of project and you need a computer that has um, particular software, there is a computer at Central Library that has that That's software. Cool. Yes, uh, Cricket Machine is like my little baby. Um, I started developing a digital creativity work program so that people didn't have to go out and buy a three, $400 machine. Uh, you can actually come to the library and utilize it free. Um, different supplies, different things like that. We, we work with each project individually, um, but there's a lot of resources. We're just here to shine light on that. Uh, we definitely work with all adults of all range, all skill levels, and North Star, just circling back to that, is designed for those fundamental skills to keep kind of building that lifelong learning. And remember, North Star, you don't have to have a library card. You just need internet access. I think I've seen people 
do it on their phone. I don't really recommend it because it's really small. Um, but as long as you have a computer and internet access, you can get to North Star Digital Literacy. You don't have to have a library card for that. And it does have caption and it also will read the question out loud. It'll demonstrate the skill that it's trying to teach you. And then it'll ask you right away to um, kind of soak it all in and then demonstrate the skills you learned mm -hmm. by what it just demonstrated. So it's it really interactive. Talk back, yeah. yeah. Uh, read out loud question based. Uh, it talks a lot slower. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you can actually speed it up or slow it down even mm -hmm. further. Thank you. What is the fee oh, if you are out of uh, county? For the plaid card? So yeah. Placard, 60? I think it's $60. For the year. $60 for the year. For the year. And that does give you access to all of our 25 branches. Yes, you can get actually branches. a library card from each branch. Some people do like to collect them, but um, you can go to any branch. It's not necessary. You would be, you know, you have to go to one. You can go anywhere. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. And we are fine free as well now. So I don't know if you are aware of that. So if you do check out traditional books or DVDs or magazines or any of th that nature, uh, we are fine free now. So don't let that keep you away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any more questions? No. no. Thank well, you. Thank all. you so much for having us. Uh, we'll drop some stuff in the chat. We'll pass some stuff to Lisa for the Google Drive link. Um, my email will be in the chat as well. It'll get me and my team, which I'm a part of a nine person team, eight, give or take. <laughs> uh, so if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out for general questions too. It doesn't have to be about classes, mm -hmm. but if you have troubleshooting with getting online or trouble getting to a website, our team supports all of that. And so you're going to put out more uh, flyers for them to get. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They have a whole trunk full. So if you didn't get one, um, they're going to put some out for you over here. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. Any other questions for the librarians? Well, I don't know if you guys We're are not librarians, actually librarians, but yeah. <laughs> for the indie they do library. the harder work. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys are great. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. much. Yeah, absolutely. We where it took us all year to get the sound um, corrected and we have it corrected. <laughs> and online people, we just had a little snafu today because I forgot my power cord to my computer, which is what the microphone was connected to, but you all should be able to hear now because we connected to Sarah's computer. So technology is just so fabulous, right? Um, which is also another reason why we're moving because we'll be able to keep everything um, in the building and, and it'll be a lot easier to set up. So, okay. So we're going to move to the uh, handouts that you all have. They're stapled. There's a 10 page handout. Some of you might've been taking notes on it. Uh, Sarah printed it for us. Um, just a fun little fun exercise for the next, uh, for how long do we have 45 minutes or so? So the first one is how many did you know already? This is, um, text abbreviations. So if you, if you have your kids or your grandkids or even great grand, some of us, um, not me, but some, some of you, maybe, uh, maybe they send you some of these, um, abbreviations or better yet, you could start sending these to them and they're going to be like, whoa, grandma is hip. Uh, so, yeah. So are there any on there that you that you knew or that surprised you? LOL. That's a pretty popular one. Laughing out loud. Be right back. BRB. My kids even have started talking like this. It's pretty yeah. Remarkable. Um, I mean, and kids these days, they, they do have their own language. There's like, um, little Instagram reels where they like make fun of, uh, the language of teenagers these days. Um, I should, I should have printed out that, uh, any on there that you, um, are like, what is that YOLO? You guys know YOLO? You only live once too long, didn't read. That one was funny to me because my kids, I, they don't even have to t tell me that because I know that they don't read it if it's more than like two lines. <laughs> uh, never mind in VM. Okay. For the win. So you could start texting your kids. Uh, you know, you probably have a whole conversation. I bet with some of those there. 
Uh, the next one is 10 simple podcast. So all of these, uh, these sheets that I've given to you, um, I created these using AI. Do you guys know what AI means? Artificial intelligence. So chat GPT has become my best friend. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm using, I use it for school and it's okay. It's legal. Professors at colleges have embraced the chat GPT. It's just the, what you put into it is the how good of information you put into it will reflect on the quality that you get out of it. And you also need to check everything and revise and edit and make it your own. But it, it's really good to sort of, if you're a writer, uh, it's good to like get the juices flowing, get some ideas going. Um, but I used it for this, this class to look up podcasts, um, apps, and where we can get computer help, and even all of those text abbreviations that I showed you. So um, so the 10 Simple Podcasts, does anybody listen to podcasts? Yeah, a couple. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what a podcast is, um, is there somebody in the audience who wants to tell us what a, a podcast is? No. Okay. I'll tell you what a podcast is. So they're actually becoming really a, a popular way um, for people to um, sort of lead generate for lack of a better term. So we could make, um, we could sort of make these topics that we're giving to you into a podcast where maybe we talk to, maybe this is a good idea, guys. We could talk to one of our sponsors in a podcast each month. Uh, and they video, a lot of them are even videoed. So, um, you, there it's, you know, two or more people sitting in a room, there's somebody who's the moderator and they're just basically interviewing, um, or talking to the other person. There's podcasts on virtually every topic I think that you could think of. Um, there's, uh, so the list here, these are podcast, uh, stream. So you could, you could use these to listen to your favorite podcast. So, um, and you can see there in parentheses, it shows you whether it's, uh, Apple or Android friendly. Um, I, you can listen to podcasts on your computer too. I mean, you could even YouTube podcast and watch and listen to a podcast, um, online on your computer or your phone. So, um, some of you, what types of podcasts, th those of you that do listen, what, what types of podcasts do you listen to? BBC? Okay. A lawyer podcast. There you go. Common people. Comedy people. Okay. Like comedians. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good for a good laugh. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any other podcasts? Fans? Yes, ma'am. Teep of snow. Dementia care partner talk show. Yeah. Teep of snow is a famous, um, she educa educates and speaks on uh, uh, dementia care. She's a fantastic, very, very dynamic lady. Uh, and so she has a podcast, Teepa Snow, if you want that T-E-E-P-A, and then the word snow. Yes. But it's not in the name, but you could probably Google that. Podcast. Yeah. The podcast is Dementia Care Partner Talk Show. Dementia Care Partner Talk Show. And then in very tiny print, it does have her name. But I think when I first searched for it, I'm like, I can't find it. <laughs> okay, good to know. So, okay, you had something here in the red and then I see you and then you yeah, go ahead. No, you didn't. Oh, I thought I saw your hand raised. Okay, good. <laughs> and, and then right. Yes. I was going to say I do sports analysis of games that I've watched. Sports analysis. Yeah. So for all you sports fans in the room. Yeah. There's even a podcast for sports fans. Smartless is a smartless. What's, what's it about? They just interview somebody. There's a lot of back and forth. Okay. Interviewing their friends. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Awesome. I listen to it almost every day. Oh, smartless. 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 Okay. What about TED Talks? TED Talks. Oh, yes. Yes. TED Talks are amazing. Do you guys know TED Talks? TED, T E D. Yep. Uh, there's TED Talks are. Uh, I should have had that on here. They are a national, it's a national brand, TED Talks, and uh, people get on stage and they speak about whatever topic. You can look them up on uh, YouTube. You can look up TED Talks and follow them and do a search for, um, you could do, do a Google search for TED Talks on whatever topic. And they're very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Some really good ones. What is it? Crime junkies. crime junkies. Yeah. Crime. Who, who likes true crime stuff? Our cleaner that we use when we're cleaning out houses, that's what she listens to while she's cleaning. She just pops in her headphones and listens to true crime while she cleans. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So, okay. So like I said, all of these are, um, podcast providers. So you can download those apps and then and then you search for whatever podcast you'd like. Now, the next one is a two pager. It's uh, 15 useful apps for senior citizens. And if you want to get out your smartphone and start look, searching for these apps, feel free to. Um, I envisioned some people with their laptops or smartphones or tablets. And it looks like all of you guys have brought your your cell phones or your smartphones with your A. And then online, you're probably sitting on your computer right now. So, um, so AARP, AARP now came up, um, which is great. I'm glad that AI found that chat GPT MediSafe medication reminder. Who needs medication reminders? Yes, ma'am. I do too. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, the magnifying glass with a flashlight. So that's like two in one bonus. Wouldn't that be nice? Audible. I love Audible. If, if I'm ever out and somebody mentions a book they like, the first thing I do is look it up on Audible. Yeah. And then I listen to it and then decide I want to get the paper copy and then go to <laughs> Amazon and buy the paper copy. Um, this is not a, an advertisement for either of those. Um, Oh yeah. Come to, well, now that I have my card renewed, I can come to the library. Yes. There you go. Uh, Skype and zoom, uh, those of you on zoom and, you know, in 2020, we had our last in-person event in March, 2020. And then, uh, so it's always the second Thursday. So you guys had several weeks until the next event and nobody missed a beat. Like the room was full in April when we just went straight to Zoom. So, which is what led to us doing the hybrid meetings where we have online and in person. So, um, what else? I saw this one, Silver Surf Browser. Uh, so it's a senior friendly browser with large icons and simplified nav navigation. That's interesting. Um, and there's another uh, medication reminder one there, the, the Parkinson's toolkit. I thought that was cool. Um, and then senior savings and the red panic button. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a great question. So do you have a smartphone? If, do you if you have it right now, pull it out and you don't have it. Well, you can, if you have your cell phones, you can get your cell phones out, go to the play store or the app store. Yeah. So it's, if you have Google, if you have uh, Android, you probably go to the Google play store. If you have Apple, you go to the app store and you just do a search for these apps. Yes, sir. No, uh, well, a lot of them, most of them, ought, they ought to have different levels. So some of them, I like, I see headspace on here is number 11. I know that there's a, a free level of that. There's a free version of that. And then there's a paid or subscription version, subscribe, subscriber version. So with the paid versions, you probably get just more, uh, you know, options and things like that. It's just, yeah. And no advertising, just like if you're listening to 
Pandora or streaming something on TV. So if you get the paid version, you get rid of those advertisers and, and things like that. The weather channel, that one, that one, um, uh, is a cool one. Yeah. So, Oh, find my iPhone or find my device. So what other apps do you guys have and love that you want to share with the, the room? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, magnifying glass with a uh, flashlight is a tracking on people's devices. I would say if you have a device, you're probably being tracked anyway. <laughs> um, I feel like if they, yeah, if they want your, if they want your information, they're certainly going to get it. Um, but yes, a lot of the apps will, well, most of them ought to have a settings and your settings function where you can allow them to track your location or not. Yeah. So for that, you would go into your settings. Yes, ma'am. You want to, my mom has a mic there. Yeah. The green light on? Yeah, now it is. Yeah. So on any apps you download, you should get a pop-up box asking if you will allow it to track. Yeah. You can suggest no. You can sit now. Some of them you don't have that option, like a GPS program. So you can have it allowing it to track you while you're in the app. Once you shut the app down, it stops tracking you. Okay. Yeah. S N U G. Oh, did you hear that? So snug. And there's uh there there are a couple of there of them on here too. It's called snug red panic button, yeah. Um, snug. So if it, she has it set for 11 AM and if she doesn't contact snug by 11, they're going to contact her emergency contact. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah. So it's kind of the same thing. Like if you live in a senior community, they, some of them have like little check-ins, um, uh, you know, where that you, they check in and you're, I've seen them in senior communities where you have to like, just check in with somebody, but this is on your smartphone. So, um, for those of you who have worrisome adult children, you know, especially if they live out of state, uh, these, it might be something to, to add and, and let your kids know, or let your loved ones know so that, you know, they feel like, okay, all right. So if something does go awry, I'm going to hear about it. Right. Anybody else have apps that they love using? They want to share with the room. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Apps to track your child. Yes. Oh, yeah, Life 360. So the question just for the online audience, because they can't hear us if we're not talking to the mic, um, was uh, she said she has a friend who parents were in a car accident and they track their location and they actually got there before the EMT got there. So or the, you know, the emergency. Yeah. Um, so life 360 is one. And then on for Google, like I track my children and, um, I share my location with them the other day, actually my daughter texted me. She's like, you good. I see that you're, I think I was showing a house or something. I don't know, but, um, yeah, it was just funny. She's like, you good. I'm like, yes, Helen, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, those tracking, uh, services are good. Um, for that. So anybody else, any fun apps you've been upgraded, Stacy, to the mic runner. What was the one you said that a Google one? Oh, uh, just on Google. So we have a family Google account, but on Google, 
you don't even have to have a family account. You can choose people who you want to share your location with. Yeah. Just on your Google. Um, if you go to your Google account, you, yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to say on iPhones, you can follow my, so I like my kids don't live in Indiana, but I know where they are. <laughs> okay. But, and so you can do that. They have to accept it. They also, also, they also have to have an, um, Apple device. It doesn't do, I haven't been no, able it to get it do. to work with the Google. No, you have to have Apple. Yeah. To do that one. But for Google, you, you ought to be able to do it with both Apple and Android. Um, because it's through Google. So it's not through. Yeah. Um, and again, you, you would just go to your Google account. Um, if, if you have your smartphone and, and you, if you really want to figure it out, we can help you after, after class, but yeah, the other person, if you want to follow somebody, they have to, <laughs> they have to allow you to track them. So Oh, that's interesting. Life 360 tracks car crashes. That's what was said. Anybody else? Yes, please feel free to get out your cell phones and start looking at these apps. Because if you have questions, if you run into something and get stuck, let's answer them here. Yes, sir. Uh, Stacy's behind you with the microphone, just so the online audience can hear. Uh, one of my favorite apps is, um, is that, the, I guess that's the question Yeah, is, is uh, gas buddy gas. Oh yes. I've heard of gas buddy. Uh, gas buddy's good. I use it daily and, and a lot of the state will do any gas station. Tell us can, what it does, Phil. Pardon me. Tell us what it does for those of us that don't know. It uh, tells you what the prices are at any brand of gasoline that you want to buy. Lowest, lowest, lowest prices, prices in your area. You can select. Yeah. I've got six stations that I frequent. I watch. Yeah. Uh, Does it have Costco and Sam's Club on there? Yes. Oh, I need to tell my son about that actually. Yeah. I know. I just default to, to Costco. Speedway's coming down. Oh, is it really? Yeah. There you go. Gas Buddy is interactive. Okay, so I like that. So just for the online audience, Gas Buddy is interactive. So if you go to the gas station, uh, let's say Gas Buddy told you Speedway was um, four twenty-five, and you get there, and it's actually four. 23, you can update it in the app and you get points, which will translate into. Yeah, somehow the, the, the way the app is doing it, it will just kind of get it, it'll, it leads to better pricing. Yeah. I'll finish on that. Uh, the Speedway, it's five cents. If you get the Speedway card. Yeah, the the, the membership cards, yeah. You can use it to buy food, soda, whatever you want to do in it. Uh, but you get five cents off if you use the Speedy card uh, off a, per gallon. And then that adds up. Because so per you gallon, you, points. so you automatically get five cents off? If you okay. Have, yes. Interesting. Yeah. You have to use the Speedy card, though. Kroger Plus card does that too. But you know, my son takes all my Kroger Plus points because he knows my phone number and you just have to put your phone number in there. So when I go, I never get my Kroger Plus points. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How many of you shop online? Anybody shop online? How many of you use the Rakuten app? What is to it get called? Cash back. Rakuten. Um, I is just got How do you spell that? Yeah, R A K U E U T E N, Rakuten. If you want, I'll send you a link. 
So you'll get 30 bucks. And so will I Ooh. last month. I got a check. I only shop through this app for work last month. I got a check for like $15. Now my, oh. my counterpart in Ohio, she got a check for $200. That's crazy. Because we do all of our sourcing through that for whatever we need for work. But if you're shopping for clothes, if you like Target and order from them, you get a percentage back. R A Q U R A K R A K U. Yep. I'll I'll send you a link. Okay. And then T E N. Yeah. R A K. Oh, Sarah put it up there. Thank yep. you. There you go. It's you're shopping already. Get paid to do your shopping. And so and then you get bucks for referring people. You do. So That's if you want exciting. the link, let me know, because I'd love $30. And guess what? So would you. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Rack, rack you 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. What a great incentive for you to refer people. Yep. Uh, oh, they do? I don't have cable, so, but I guess if you, yeah, if you get advertising, it's probably on there. Yeah, interesting. What other fun apps? Oh, look, that would be great, right? So uh, if you had small businesses and you they give you a reward for uh, referring people, I'm sure there's a way to do it. I, we ought to, that's a good uh, little challenge for 2024. We ought to figure out a referral system. Uh, They can't hear you. They can see you talking because your camera's on and they're going to be okay. frustrated. <laughs> uh, if you, Hamilton County has an app where if you're in Hamilton County, it, it, it will show you restaurants or stores that are nearby where you can get a little discount different places. Um, Fishers actually has one too. That's specific to Fishers local shops. Um, I don't know about Marion County because I spend yeah, most of my there. time in Hamilton County, but um, so some of them have, it's not necessarily a reward system where if you use it, you get stuff back, but it'll tell you like, if you're going to this restaurant, you might get $10 off a $50 purchase or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. I see some people downloading apps. Yes, sir. Stacy has a mic for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I've come across what I think is a suspicious website buying okay. online. It's Temu, T-E-M-U. Their prices seemed incredibly competitive or low. Do you know anything about that? I've oh. heard of it. Yeah. Beautiful things. Are they cheap? Are they, they like they're cheap and and they're cheap and it's it is a Chinese backed company. So if, I, I'm not telling you not to buy. Like these are decisions you guys can make, but when you order for them. Your information is maybe going places you don't want them to go. It is almost the equivalent of TikTok. These are Chinese owned companies. Now, if you like the stuff and you found it great, cool. Buy what you want. There's Just, another one that yeah. uh, kids use, a Sheen. It's called Sheen. Yeah, that's, and it's very, 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 very cheap clothing. It looks really great. The photos look great. great and then yes. you like order something and it's super small and just like, it's not even like, like my daughter got a sweatshirt off there and it was like, it was like really cheap. I don't even know if it was polyester, but it wasn't like that. Yeah. These are not quality items. Like you're better off going to a place, you know, and are comfortable with, and that the quality is where you want it to be. Yeah. You know, it's just, it, remember buyer beware. <laughs> It's, it's that same thing. So that Timu, I've had some friends order some stuff and they regret what they did. If it sounds good, too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Yeah. Has anyone seen this meme? When you order your couch off. Oh, I saw that. Saw that. Yeah. There's a, uh, it's this gal sitting in this tiny little couch. It says when you order your when you order your couch off a of Timu, Timu, yeah. 
but you can make anything look great in photos as real estate agents. We know that firsthand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The real fun begins when you try to get your money back. Oh yeah. That's the joke. real fun begins when you try to get your money back. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that's one thing that I know in people, this is going to be a controversial, uh, um, comment, but on Amazon, I seem to have pretty good luck, you know, doing returns and, and getting, um, you know, the money back right, as long as right. it's within the, whatever the seller's return policy is. Yeah. Well, places like Sheen and, and I no. think team you too. They don't want the product back. Yeah. They'll just say, we'll send you 20% of what you spent. Yeah. But my understanding about Team U is that they've got their prices so low, they're just trying to run out the competition. And then they'll jack up the prices when they get rid of that enough could be companies. Yeah. Just know it's a business. It's a for-profit business yeah. and they're doing what they can uh, to make a profit, even if it means um, not great customer service and not a great product. Yeah. Yes, sir. Does anybody know about uh, ordering products or services from advertisements on Facebook? Advertisements on Facebook. I have uh, ordered something on Instagram and never received it, even though I paid for it once I did that. And so I'll never do it again. I, I have a tip. Yeah. Wait, grab a mic. Hold on. I have another one I can give her. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Um, so this is a story. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the store. Bye bye, baby. They were going out of business yeah. and they had a huge liquidation sale. Um, I was scrolling Facebook and I saw um, the like five in one convertible car seat for thirty five dollars. Like, oh, my gosh, I have, I have a two year old. I have to get that. I click on the advertisement on Facebook and it takes me to a website that looks very much so like the Bye Bye Baby website, but I just so happened to look at the bottom, you know, where the URL is, the www, whatever, and it didn't say Bye Bye Baby anymore. And I thought, oh, yeah. I almost, you know, put my credit card information somewhere and I wasn't going to get a car seat. So uh, I am very weary of the Facebook advertisements. Yeah. Still. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just just ignore them. Just, yeah, just we, if, if you want, I think a, a good suggestion is always if you see something that you like in a Facebook advertisement, go and Google it to find it to at that a store. site that you've yeah. been to before. Go directly yeah. to that yeah. store. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Yeah, I was gonna say we we actually learned that in our scams yeah. um session event where they talked about following links and oftentimes you end up not on the same website any longer. So always check that. But um, my tip on Facebook ads, especially the women, sometimes, you know, the clothing is targeted towards us, different things like that. If they don't show faces. So if the, if the picture is cut off and you just see from your neck down, don't, don't buy from that because that's likely someone else's photo that they've stolen and put on there. And that's why they don't want you to see the face. So that is kind of, I actually learned that from a boutique owner because she does all of her own photographs and people would steal them, oh, her photographs and try to sell the same product. So she told me if there's no heads, don't buy it. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I also heard, um, I, well, I saw it somewhere, something that you can, we, this has turned into a scam conversation, but um, if the A in the A is what is the A called when it's like with the with the, the ampersand? Not the ampersand. The actual the letter A. What is it called? Yes. Yeah, you're doing the so if it's not like the just the little A with the stick on the side, it's the other one where it curves around and then it goes like that. Um, I don't know what it's, it's called something anyway, that was, uh, a cue that it was, it was a scam website where, where the a was just the little circle with the stick on the right hand side. That was the scam site. Yes, sir. Hi, Lisa. Uh, I understand that you're, if you want to check the legitimacy of, a, a, a online contact, you look at the return address. Uh, and it's like Chase Bank. If it doesn't have that name, Chase Bank, in the return address and the URL, 
it's probably illegitimate and you ought to be yeah. very careful about that, avoiding that. Is there some other way to look at? Well, it's super easy to redirect, um, redirect people to another site. So you can have like the advertisements that Sarah was talking about on Facebook. You could easily make a picture and attach a link to it, but you, so you could make a picture like you're going to go to bye bye baby, for example, easily put that information on there but then it's attached to a completely different link. So when you click it, it looks like you're going to bye bye baby or wherever, sorry, bye bye baby, but they're out of business anyway. So, right. Um, and, and then when you click on it, it's super easy just to redirect. I have some redirect, um, websites that I use just to go that just for, it's not a scam, but like, so we use downsizing indie, and it redirects you to Indie Real Estate Experts website. Um, so it's it's really easy to just redirect to any website that you want. And it's pretty easy to make a website. Yeah. So if you have questions about the internet and these websites, uh, a good um, resource for you is the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. If you go to their website, they have a lot of listings of these things. Okay. In Indiana, there is a site for in case I N C A S E. And I forget it's an acronym. I forget exactly what it stands for, but it is to help people combat fraud, especially older adults. That's the whole point of this website. So it's a lot of the agencies in Indiana that cater to older adults, senior Medicare patrol ship, which is uh, the state health insurance, me Medicare, and they want to make sure you're safe. So you can go to, you type into your search in case. Yeah, it's in case. It's, it's it's it is an acronym. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm sorry. I work Indiana. with them all the time and I forget what it stands for. But if you go there, it will give you information about fraud, uh, you know, the romance fraud and everything else, websites to avoid. And there is a phone number on there that will connect you to an agency if you have questions. In case, I-N-C-A-S-E mm -hmm. dot gov. It's dot gov. Is it I-N, in case dot I-N dot gov? It might be. You can also go to the state of Indiana website. It and will also it. take you to in case if you type in their search bar, it'll get you to in case because this is done, uh, was initially set up through the um, Secretary of State's office. No, it's in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You had a question? Can I ask one more yeah, question? of course. Do you think that? Uh, um, little pill that Kelly Clarkson's taken and lost all that weight is oh. legit. <laughs> is that fraud? I can't. And we take a left turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've been wanting to get it, but you know, I talk to your doctor. Don't, don't, buy, please don't, buy don't buy it online. Don't buy it online. Oh, my doctors that, oh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, now that's a whole other topic. Yeah. Yes. She said, oh, my doctor's up for those of you that didn't see it online. Well, so, maybe you need to get a new doctor. Yeah, yeah. No, I will tell you. Yeah. I have a suggestion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Stacy has a suggestion, but I will say, uh, and this is a whole other topic, but when you are talking to your doctors, you have to advocate for yourself. I go to the VA because I'm a veteran. And I just remember when I went to the, this is probably TMI. Do you know what TMI means? It's on your sheet. Okay. Uh, I went to my OBGYN because I thought I was having menopausal symptoms. And she was just like, yeah, you probably are. Yeah. We get to get you. We could take your test, your blood, but you know, you're at the age. And that was literally all she offered me, which took me down a research path to learn all I could about it because she was no help to me. So then I emailed my doctor because the VA has a website for the veterans. Do you guys know the My VA Health 
website, you can message your doctor and it's sometimes much easier than dealing with the phone, like push one, if you want this, blah, blah, blah. So I messaged my doctor and I was loaded with information that I had gotten, uh, that is, is valid information from a, um, an OBGYN that I follow thanks to Sarah. And I said, this is what I'm taking for my supplements. And this is what I want to take. And I would like for you to write me a prescription. Can we talk about this? Blah, blah, blah. So you have to advocate for yourself. Um, and then they call, they actually called me this morning and I, I got an appointment scheduled. So because they also told me that supplements are nothing more that all they'll do is make your urine more expensive. So, but I, I mean, who eats a completely healthy diet that you get all the nutrition, every single bit of nutrition that you need. And also your nutrition needs change as we age. Right. So that was, you have to advocate for yourself. Right. Did you, did somebody have, Oh, in case.gov. Um, I think Stacy's working on it. It's not, it's, oh, it's not available. Well, it might be, there's a, another couple of letters in there. So we're working I'm on, it. Checking on it. Let me. Stacy's working on it. It it's in case.in.gov. Maybe she's looking it up and she's going to find that website for you. Yeah. Uh, any other apps that you love? or hate. The other one that I have there is best technology for seniors. So smartphones and senior, senior friendly features. You know, I just thought of it, Verizon, um, the one that over by me, we use Verizon um, on, there's one at 71st and Benford. That's the one we use. I mean, they're all over, but they, I've seen them giving classes. There's a dedicated person in there and they have classes. Um, so check with your cell phone uh, store, wherever you go to get your cell phone to see uh, if they offer classes specifically for your smartphone. They'll sit, they're very small, like one or two people. So you can get personalized attention. They can show you exactly how to use uh, your smartphone. Uh, just at wherever you, you go to get your smartphone, your cell phone provider. So Verizon offers classes. Even probably you don't even have to be a client of theirs because I'm sure they use it as a, as a way to a marketing, you know, um, avenue. So, um, Okay. And then the last form that I have there, I think it's the last form. Yeah. Best technology. And then, oh, technology help. We already heard from the library. Um, yes, ma'am. And they brought a suitcase full of flyers. So they've got plenty if you didn't get them, but um, they have classes and they, they also partner with AARP, which is how I found them. Um, oh, and then the last one was the password keepers. So somebody told me, I won't point them out, but somebody told me they just write them in a notebook and then, uh, carry the notebook around with them. You could do it that way, but, uh, if you lose it or if you change it, you got to erase and re, you know, write it in there. But, um, password keepers, I've, I need to, I need myself, I need to get a password keeper app that I use because they're all just right here. <laughs> That's probably not the best way, right? My kids would know because over the years, they've gotten to know like the passwords that I use for everything. So if they want to get into something and uh, they're locked out, they'll just try all that. They'll go down the list of all the passwords that, you know, they, they, they realized what our last four of our, our, uh... That's hilarious. So our phone number, our childhood phone number, and I, we noticed it because the garage, my garage password was that. And, um, you're like, Hey, that's my, that's how, that's my phone. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Stacy found it. I reached out to my friends. The website for in case is in I N dash c a s e dot org oh the in case again. stands for indiana council against senior exploitation and here's what it will look like and it uh, you can't see that from here 
Stacy's <laughs> passing around the phone in person. Sarah's looking it up and she's going to put it in the chat box for yeah. those of you. And then the library ladies have pulled it up on their laptop. Dash slash. Yep. There it is. Uh, oh, it's a dash, not a, a slash, dash. not a slash. It's okay. I N dash C A S E dot org dot org. Yeah. So it's a nonprofit organization. It, it's it's a, you're welcome. It is part of the state of Indiana. It, it was started by the secretary of state, but a lot of organizations are out there to help protect you. And if you go to this site, you can get a lot of information and phone numbers and everything legitimate phone numbers. Well, at least I hope they're still legitimate, but they were because I would call them every once in a while. And if you haven't, uh, if you don't already know this, you are you in the room and online, you are a segment of the population that is targeted for, uh, for people who are advertisers for business, for scams, for everything. You're, you're literally a segment of the population that people say, I mean, and we're not a scam, but I mean, li literally Sarah and I, this is our brokerage exclusively specializes in helping seniors downsize. You're a segment of the population that we have decided to serve, but not everybody who has, uh, decided to uh, focus on the segment of the population are, are wanting to serve. They're wanting to take your money or scam you. Right. So I just wanted to make sure everyone saw the tech boomers that the library so kindly put up there for us too. So everyday tech questions, techboomers.com. Oh, thank you, library techboomers.com. I, th I think that's on this list, but maybe not. So there, there it is there. Our technology is working great today, which I'm so pleased because the topic is on technology. <laughs> Just the battery, the, the plug-in thing. Yes, one more question, then we're gonna do some drawings for Stacy's price. It's not, a, it's not a question. I found the site that had the difference in the A's. Oh, tell us, please. <laughs> well, I mean, as I said, the first one, it, it just gives examples of citibank.com. Yeah. And if it's the A, um, the one that's got just the stick, that's from. That's the fraud. How do you say Cyrillic? Like Russian? Cyrillic? Yes. Okay. So the one with the stick is fraud. That's the fraud. Yep. I, I'm trying. I want to know what that other A is called, though. A. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay, look. See this A right here with the that's the the, the 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 legit one. So if it's the little A with the stick on the right hand side, that's the fraud one. Yeah. And the, for those of you online where Sarah wrote in dot uh, in slash case, that A is the, the legit one. Oh yeah, we have a Yeah. Yep, that's the fake one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's like the typewriter A, that's a little legit one. And what the way that you learn to print, yes, the way... If you go to a website and it has the way that you learn to print... That's the fraud. Yep. Okay. Um, Stacy, do you want to do our drawing for your basket since you're here today? Yes. Because I'm. Thank not you all for I'm attending in back. person and online. Heavy. And if you did attend online, um, Sarah is going to pop the feedback link uh, in the chat box. Um, if she can find it, <laughs> sorry, I put you on the spot there. Uh, we love your feedback guys. And we'll be here in January, um, at our new location. Um, if you're attending online, that doesn't affect you, but if you are on person or if you're online and you're choosing to start coming in person in July, 2024 or January, 2024, I skipped ahead like seven months. <laughs> um, just pay attention to, uh, what we put out there so that you can get the correct address. And you, and you, those of you who are in the room and online, tell your, 
friends, your neighbors, your church friends, your uh, everybody that you know that could benefit from attending these, uh, let them know and let them know about our new location because there's room to grow at our new location, which is, is what we'd like to do. We've, we've got the room packed today, which is fantastic. If we had any more though, we'd be standing room only, which I think we've had when we did the antique road show, um, which we're doing in 2024, uh, grab, visit our sponsors, um, grab their handouts. They've got some wonderful educational information. We've got some information here on the table. If you do grab a rat card, just remember to change the address because we don't have the stickers on there yet extra maps to the new location. Yeah. We literally, this is like brand new, uh, the location as of a couple of days ago. So what's that? Yeah. We'll, we'll just let them take them. Yeah. So thank you to everybody online for attending. We appreciate you. Thank you to our sponsors for popping your information in there and be sure to check out the Google, Google drive link for the handouts. Um, I'm going to end that meeting online and then we'll do that. Thank you guys. Are we ready for the name?